ever been confused by those titles, UX design, UX UI design, visual design, experience design, UI design, web design, product design. Honestly, I was. My name is Ines, I'm a principal product designer and a hiring manager with 15 years of experience. And in this video, we are going to have a look on all of those titles and define the difference if there is any. Let's go. So first, why do we have so many titles to define our job? The reason for that is that the field overall is very new and everything that is new is still defining itself and developing. You can roughly say that there is still an ongoing battle on how this profession will be called. But to understand this battle, you need to take a historical perspective. If you do so, everything is becoming clearer. So let's do that. As I said, I've been working as a UX designer for 15 years, so I've seen it all. But indeed, 15 years ago or earlier, we were not called UX designers. We were called web designers. Why? Because there is one platform exists, web, and we're designing specifically for this platform. So there was no need to differentiate between different sorts of UX designers, because we are all working for the same platform. Then everything existed like that for many years, everybody was happy, but then a mobile platforms kick in. And what happened is that suddenly we needed a name to differentiate between different designers that are working on different platforms. But I think the term mobile designers was never in the discussion because it sounds weird. What are you, a designer who likes to move around. And I think there was a time when we experimented with the terms iOS designers, Android designers, but I don't think they lived for a long time because eventually we started thinking, okay, what are we developing overall across those platforms? And then the term user experience became popular. But it's important to understand that back then it was not clear which way is better to develop a digital application. Is it a way to hire designers in-house or to delegate it to agencies? Believe it or not, but there was a discussion. And in the beginning, agencies were actually winning. But what agencies do is they are working in a waterfall format. What is a waterfall indeed? Waterfall is a type of a process where a project comes into the agency, then project managers and designers start working on them. Then once they finish to do some discovery and discussing it with the clients, they then hand it over to engineers and engineers continue working on this project. That helps agencies to take on more projects because while engineers are working on the first project, there is a second one that is already in the pipeline. And to make Waterfall even more efficient, agencies tend to break down the work on more job functions. This way, UX designers and UI designers has become a separation inside of the agency work. But in some agencies, especially in the US, they were called experience designers and visual designers, but the separation was commonly used. Then a funny thing happened. The industry figure out that it's best to hire designers in-house because this way they can have more authority and can take more high level decision and influence the product. So many designers from agencies, me included, started to drift towards tech companies. And when those people were joining tech companies, they were bringing their titles with them. But what they soon found out is that the differentiation between UX and UI inside of a tech company is not so apparent. So they started calling themselves UX UI designers. And then there was a separate trend. And in my opinion, it was not related to design whatsoever, but it started in the area of product management because product managers started to discussing if digital products and physical products are actually so different because indeed in physical product design we follow the same double diamond or design thinking we first learn who is our audience we then design the product then we test it then we sell it and then we learn from users what worked well this is how all physical products that we have right now receive an update. So apparently it was decided they are not so drastically different. It's just our iterations in digital products, they are way faster. And indeed we have product managers in physical products, if I'm not mistaken, and product managers inside of tech companies. So why do we need a different name for designers and everybody else then? And this is how the term product designer enters the stage. By the way, if you like this video and you want to receive more videos like that, give me thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. That's important for me and for YouTube algorithms. And we're moving on. And so here we are right now. We have two 
terms that seems to be interchangeable or not. There is a debate, we are going to look into it. UX, UI designers and product designers. The good indicator that those terms are so close to each other is that sometimes people are combining them together and they are specifying I'm a product UX, UI designer. But let's have a look. Is there really a difference? And in my opinion, and you might disagree with me because there is an ongoing debate, I don't think there is a difference. There are just terms that come comes from different historical backgrounds, but they are basically defining the same work. And I even asked ChatGPT to provide me the difference and it failed to do so, because of course it is basing its answers on the articles from the internet, but UX UI designers, they do UX and UI, but product designers, they are also doing UX and UI and look at the product coherently and holistically, but honestly, it does not mean anything. By the way, let me know in the comments if you agree that those terms are total synonyms or if you see it differently. In my work, I see zero difference. I'm working right now as a product designer. This is the official term that I have, but also even inside of our teams, sometimes we refer to ourselves as UX designers. It's just because UX is shorter. It's not clear right now which term will win a competition. Or maybe we will develop another one like human experience designers, who knows? If you call yourself UX UI designer, it might not be clear for outsiders what it stands for. If you call yourself a product designer at the same time, you need to have a specification which type of a product you are actually designing. So I think both terms are not ideal. If you ask me, I prefer to call myself a product designer because I think this is just way more elegant to call ourselves that. And indeed we are product designers and we're using the same design thinking methods as everybody else. In theory, we can reskill ourselves and start designing cause, I don't know. But I also appreciate that UX is somewhat shorter and in many cases it is convenient. And honestly, I think those debates, they don't make sense. I know that for many people it is very important how do they call and they really try to explain the difference between product design, UX, UI design. But I believe there are more important topics we shall discuss. And let me know what do you think, because I'm really curious. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and now you know the difference between UX designers, UI designers, visual designers, web designers, and so on. And if you like this video and you want to receive more videos like that, hit the subscribe button down below and I see you next time.